Hello everybody and welcome back to Eriador. Let's do damage control because last time I did not play well. So what I was thinking with Suduri was that we would block Anadwyth from getting to the other side of the river. I know that they get a settlement over here as part of their turn one expansion, but I was planning to take that from them and they just wouldn't be able to reach me because the elves would have Suduri. Unfortunately, losing Matraith has thrown a big old wrench in that idea, so we're gonna have to do something that I really did not want to do, and that is make nice with them. I'm pretty sure they are enemies with Isengard, yes. They are only enemies with Isengard. Hopefully that should influence them to come over to our side a little bit, which would be nice, but we're still gonna leave these guys in place. At least until Suduri has somebody in it. Pretty sure the only thing left to do on this turn is to sally from Tharbad and Fenastrunin. And then we'll be ending it and seeing how the goblins screw us next. We shall engage. Heh. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a piece of cake. But for real, don't jinx yourself. Attack! Oh, of course, the timer's still on because I didn't take it off. Silly Raven. Okay, let's get this underway. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. Let's just see if we can catch enough of them to kill the army. The mightiest of generals. Not quite, but almost. Unfortunately, we did lose some long spears. But on the whole, I'd say this was almost as easy as I thought it would be. Ransom? Okay. You come on. What you got? Hmm. Wargs complicate things. Still gotta do it though. Muster your courage, men! And again I have forgotten to take off the battle timer. God damn it. <sighs> You're gonna notice that keeps happening.
why did you go all the way out there? Enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Our foe is utterly vanquished. See, when you do it right, it's amazing. Can't afford to construct anything. Hang on. Hallelujah. Absolutely, yes, thank you. Of course, we're still going to be losing it through the nose, but at least it will be going more slowly. He budged. Come on in. <laughs> Ostsul may not look like it, but it's actually a major money maker. Its primary product is ransom money. One of the big things that makes Weathertop so defensible is that the enemy has to run so far to get to you. They're out of breath before the battle even starts.
They're marching right past us. Let's go get those bowmen. As we're fighting a defensive battle on Weathertop again, I'm not even remotely pissed this time that I forgot to take the battle timer off. And they're just leaving. They've stopped. They've just stopped. They're just standing around down here. It's annoying. Chase him. The rest of the army is not moving. If we take their general, we might trigger a chain route. Which would be very nice. Guys, move. Come on. There we go. Men have captured the enemy general. Got him. Guard him well and make it so he can see us defeat the rest of his army. And away again. Oh no! The time for battle is over. Our foe fought well, yet we prevailed and earned ourselves a small victory. Can you hear me now? <clears throat> Can I hear you now? Okay, looks like we're unstuck. Thank goodness. Because if we weren't, then that was gonna be... Well, that was gonna be really good that I save when I do. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. Only 16 of those casualties aren't coming back, and our scouts, for a change, are perfectly fine. And that is why we do the timer, because sometimes the AI just be like, hmm, 
Hmm. Do I or don't I? Do I or don't I? I think I'm going to. Never mind. <sighs> Please give me money. Surely you <sighs> Thank you. In your name, my lord. Darwinian is resplendent. That's good, that's good. Probably my next campaign, Darwinian. <laughs> ah. Yes, these Dunedain Wardens, all four of them, are free upkeep now. That's... that's saving us three coins per turn. Every penny helps. Ooh. We can retrain them. That's a very good use of that money. Continue this journey. We shall engage. Aragorn, I need to use you as a scout. Yes. There is no glory in hiding like this, my lord. With honor. Yes. Hiding from the enemy. <laughs> Fuck, man. Okay, can we? Yes, we can. Absolutely. Pretty sure there's gonna be... Uh, currently there are Dwarven Travelers as mercenaries here. In a couple of turns, a unit of Sons of the Fallen should show up. And it would be really nice if we can get together enough money to hire them. Yes. For now, however... Hey, can we... We just barely can. And there's no reason not to, really. Yes, my lord. Oh, Arid Lewin! Without question. No, not you. Come and get me, you coward. Not my division. As you wish. Yes, my lord. Can we do this? Yes. Looks like a no. As you wish. Gotta take the long way. Spy. You also would be useful down here. I kind of want to take that with just Aragorn, but I don't think I can take it with just Aragorn. But what we can do, what we can definitely do, is send him a unit of pikes. Of course, if they run into any goblins on the way, As you wish. like this, I'm gonna stick you. we may have to have them pull a long retreat all the way to Thorbad, but if we do, at least we tried. I know you're elves, but how long does it take you? Well, I think that's all we can do on this turn. So much for my grand plan. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Uh, <laughs> This causes me to wonder if you can even get a long retreat when the city you would be retreating to is under siege. But we're about to find out. Give them no quarter this day, men. Well, you know, if they're attacking us, then at least they're not chasing Aragorn. But a cruel twist of fate that snatched victory from our grasp. Well, actually, it was a tactical retreat. Today. But you know, same diff, basically. Hello there. Yeah, yeah. I am a warrior, not a diplomat. <laughs> Your orders, my lord. To battle! We can go no further, my lord. My lord. Okay, get down here. Yes. March to it. Yes, my lord. Uh, hide... Over here. With honor! Concealing the troops by your order. Very good. Let's sally. We shall engage. Heh. <laughs> well, that's fun. But you know what? They're kind of screwed. Yeah, they're 
They're very screwed. This is gonna be fun. Attack! For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. Hold up, Raven. This battle is Forgot to turn the timer off again. There is no victor. I always prefer my victories to not be by the timer. It's just that Ost Sul doesn't always allow for that. Muster your courage. Okay, now we do this. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. Honestly, we might as well get all the rangers out here before the snow orcs arrive with their archers. They've just kind of paused out here. This is what I love about the Northern Dunedain. Pretty sure we're all out of ammunition. So let's get the Rangers back inside and send just the bodyguard to finish the job. That was beautiful. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. Oh hey, the snorks are moving again. But they don't seem very serious about it. The important thing is we've lifted the siege. I think that's plenty. Eh. What do you mean? We still have somebody outside? 
Oh my god. You guys? There we go. Only the crows and worms may claim this day as theirs. So, as you can see, we only lost one guy, and he's gonna be coming right back. I think the Corvids are very happy with this one. Uh huh. But are we under siege anymore? No. No, we are not. If we wanted to, taste of my blade. we could attack this army now. And maybe we should. Your orders. Yes. There you are. You have a proposition? Yes. Uh, map information for a thousand gold. I accept this offer. Thank you. Uh, now we gotta go back down here. <sighs> Come and get me, you coward. Ah, why do you have siege equipment? Well, if nothing else, we need to do something about that. To battle. Fortunately, it is just the one unit of siege equipment, but it's of tantamount importance that we destroy it. We attack! Get out there. Okay, they're off the ballistas. That's that's something. Spread out. That's a lot of rocks. Good. <laughs> Yeah, this is very risky. What? Run, 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 run! No, 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 keep running. Of course that's Halbarad himself. Who else would it be? Run. Excellent. Frankly, if we don't get the tower cheese here, then... We're dead. Halbarad is dead. We lose Tharvad. There's basically no point continuing the campaign. We need to get it. We await your command. Oh boy. That's infantry. I wonder if that means they're out of rocks. Run inside. Stop. Run out. Oh, no, 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 oh, fuck, this is, no, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, seems almost certain. Yeah, it does. That was a disaster. <laughs> uh. Oh, boy. Halberod's steel bowmen are the only ones with any ammo left. And they've only got one guy who can use it. Faster! <sighs> we need to get some scouts in here, stat. Okay, well, here's one unit giving us the cheese. Sure would be nice if they'd all do that. This one guy using all the ammunition from his entire unit. Well, first of all, he's gonna rack up like a hundred kills just in his name. And secondly, it's gonna take forever. Which is why we don't want the timer on in an offensive battle. His arm's gotta be getting really tired by now. Okay, this is a little ridiculous. Let's... Let's see if we can hold the door open for him. Eh, uh, here they come. Here they come. That's more like it. Uh, where exactly do they think they're going? Hopefully someplace close to a lot of our towers. Or, you know, off the edge of the map, that would be good too. The AI does weird shit sometimes. Like, every time you think you know the weird shit it will do, you realize that Actually, that was just the gateway. 
They're setting up on the other end, but still in range of our towers. And now they're going the other way again. Well, that's fine by me. Tower is as tower cheese. And we go outside, and they move again. Funny how that works. Let's stand you here, though. Just like that. And they go right past. Oh, or not. Okay, well. Mm-hmm. The enemy army flees the field. Oh, that's a dead army. The enemy are utterly vanquished. That was a pain in all the asses. Like, forget the ass. That was a pain in my whole body. Every bone in my brain hurts. Ah! An honorable, glorious victory! Mm hmm. My lord. Approaching. Let's get more rangers. As you wish. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure that upon this chicanery, we are gonna have to end the episode. We are considerably less fucked than we were when I ended the last episode, but still more fucked than we were when I started it. My masterstroke plan to curtail an Edwife is just about up in flames, but sometimes this game be like that. At any rate, the way is open for our next episode to be just as full of sallying and shooting and almost losing cities and maybe losing cities and... It's gonna be a riotous time, not necessarily in a good way. This whole campaign, in case you hadn't noticed, is gonna be an absolute pain in the pass. So I hope you'll come and watch me suffer. Until it's time for more, though, I must bid you all a very fond farewell. As always, in the meantime, friends, take care of yourselves, and play well.